Vice and Bison! Welcome back to another Vice and Bison episode. Today we will have a brand new story, Gaming with Vice and Bison, and a brand new segment. Hope you enjoy. In the Wilderness, Part 1 Stubby was your average deer from Flower Valley. Flower Valley was the home of the deer and rabbits, a safe place where human law did not allow hunting. Stubby was the son of Bighorn, the leader of the deer. Bighorn was the strongest of all the deer in the valley. Many deer did not like the way Bighorn came to power. He became king when one day he challenged the old king to a fight to the death. After the battle was all over, all of the deer were forced to bow to their new king. Those that did not bow were banished to the mountains, which was where the humans hunted. Stubby was walking through the valley on one of summer's hottest days. He was looking for some of his friends to play with, but they were nowhere to be found. You might wonder why Stubby had such a strange name. He was named Stubby when he lost a duel with his brother and had his tail cut off so it was only a stub. Since that event, Stubby was seen as a failure in his father's eyes. As Stubby walked through some high grass, he saw one of his friends, Longhorn, being held down by the police. He ran up to them and asked, What did he do wrong? He has stolen from the king's private grazing field. We are taking the steer to jail so we can think about what he has done, the policeman said. Can I take him to jail? Stubby asked. I have always wanted to be a policeman. I guess it couldn't hurt, the guard replied. Just be careful with him. He likes to bite. After the policeman left, Stubby untied Longhorn and asked, Did you really steal from the king's grazing field? Yes, I did, Longhorn replied. If the king finds out you untied me, he'll have you banished, or worse, killed. I don't plan on letting the king find out, Stubby replied. Stubby and Longhorn went to the town square. I'm going to frame one of these deer and say they freed you and tried to kill me, Stubby started. Suddenly, Stubby felt a, a horn poke him from behind. Stubby turned around slowly. I thought you were going to let me take this deer to prison, Stubby stammered. No, I decided to follow you and see what you would do. I heard your whole plot so you can put your hooves in the air and come peacefully, the policeman ordered. Stubby and Longhorn both put their hooves in the air and were marched to the royal palace. When they arrived, Stubby's dad sat atop a throne the size of three deer. Why have you brought these deer to me? Bighorn asked. This deer was caught eating in your royal grazing field, the policeman said, pointing to Longhorn, and this one was found trying to help the other deer escape. There is only one punishment for such crimes, the king said. Kill the one with the long horns and banish Stubby. Welcome back to Gaming with Bison Bison. Today we are going to be playing a game called Rocket League. Rocket League is like soccer, but you are in a car with rockets attached. Oh no, the other team scored, but no worries, because we still have four and a half minutes to come back. If you want to be in a Gaming with Vice and Vice segment like AMM 306, Comment below to get a chance to play. If you like how hard I smack that ball, make sure you smack that subscribe button just as hard.
looks like this time we got a victory. Comment below what game you want to see next. Hello, and welcome back to a special edition of Top 5 with my friend, Spencer. Today, we're going to be going over Spencer's Top 5 Fruits. What is number 5 on your list, Spencer? Number 5 fruit on my list is, in fact, watermelon. And why is watermelon placed so high on that list? Because number five is, like, towards the top. Well, you see, the watermelon is a fantastic combination of water and melon, as you can imagine. And it is very sweet, and it is a great summer fruit. The only reason that it's not higher on the list is it's very simple. There's, there are, in my opinion, better fruits, but I do like watermelon a lot. I agree. Watermelon is extremely delicious and would definitely come on my top 20 fruit list. Top 20? Okay. So, my next fruit, believe it or not, is the plum. That's taken fourth place today. What is so juicy and delicious about the plum? Well, you said it, the juiciness and the deliciousness. The plum is as nice to the taste buds as it is to the eyes. Um, it's uh, it's sweet, it's it's just a good fruit. I don't know what else to say. It's, a, it's an all around solid fruit and it is fourth place for me. That would definitely make it onto my top three fruit list. Wow, top However, three. Okay. Let's stop talking about my top three and move on to your number third fruit. Yeah, this is a this is a big spot because I am perhaps the most um, adept person to judge fruit. I'll just say that. So the next fruit, third place, the blackberry. Ooh, what is so incredible that it makes it to the top three with the blackberry well um again much like the watermelon it is a summer fruit uh it's it's fun to pick it's fun to eat um Let, let, let's just stop there and clarify for a second you folks at home comment below if you like being poked with thorns while picking blackberries See, okay yeah. moving on well, that's part of the fun. It's uh, it's an experience to go pick up blackberries. Um, lots of fond memories as uh, a young one picking blackberries and eating them right off the uh, the vine or the the bush. Um, so that here is a solid third place for me. Now, second place. This is this is big. My second place pick: the raspberry. Similar to the blackberry, but red, and a little sweeter, the raspberry is hard to beat. Now, now, uh, raspberry pies, do you like those? Because the raspberry in pie form is just absolutely incredible. I don't know if there's a way to eat raspberry that's not incredible. Um, yes, I do enjoy raspberry pie. And, ever, as a kid, did you pretend raspberries were blood? Um, I, I do believe I would occasionally, you know, crush a raspberry and, and make a couple of jokes about, uh, about blood, yes. This is who I'm dealing with here, folks. Spencer. Well, you know, who, who didn't? Who didn't? That's the um, truth. And what is number one on your list? Not only is this the best fruit, it is also the best fruit pie, and that is cherries. That's right, cherries are the best fruit on my list. I would argue, but I can't. Cherry yeah. pies are so incredible. It, it, is, it is impossible to beat. Now, I have a question for you. What is your favorite type of cherry? My favorite type of cherry is pie cherries because they go oh, okay. in pies. 
there i like that i like that that's a good answer my favorite would be rainier cherries um but i do agree that any any cherry that you find in a pie is a good cherry well folks that's and all that... we have for you this time on top five and this has been spencer's top five fruits list yes thank you Thank you for watching. Tune in next time to see a special story about a turkey, interview with a farm animal, and art with Bison Bison. See you next time, and don't forget to subscribe. Bison Bison!